Mm-hmm. So if you are able to, can you give us an example of how you made an impact or how you touch one of your patients uh, in, a, in a positive way and describe that for us, please? Of course. Um, so one of the responsibilities I have in my current position is to counsel patients on their on their uh, medications as well as their disease states. So when I say counsel, that basically means to like teach them a little bit about it, show them how to use the medications, kind of tell them ways to you know improve their disease state and things like that. So of course, one of the big ones is diabetes. Um, So I actually had a patient not too long ago who came into the hospital. Their A1C was like through the roof. Their sugars were like consistently high. Um, So I, you know, I kind of looked into them a little more, dug a little deeper, kind of saw the insulin that they were on before. And I saw that they hadn't gotten it filled in like six months. So I'm like, all right, I have to go counsel this patient. We have to see what's going on. Um, And so I like went into the room. I'm like introducing myself and everything. And um, I'm like, oh, so you have this disease state called diabetes. Um, You know, are you kind of like familiar with like what, like what is this disease state? Kind of like asking open-ended questions to see how much they know. And it kind of turns out, you know, a few months ago, he found out he was diabetic and he was just prescribed insulin and he would just sit on his merry way. So he didn't really understand like the consequences of that disease state. So we, I went through like kind of the high points of how it works. Um, and I also went through, unfortunately, not to sugarcoat anything, the harmful effects diabetes can have, you know, you can lose your vision, your kidneys, um, get amputated. And, you know, that kind of really made an impact on him. He's like, you know, I didn't really know this. And so we started after we started talking about medications and he's like, oh, you know, I had refills, but I didn't really go to pick them up. Like, I didn't know it was like this serious, you know. Mm -hmm. And so after we talked about the medications, we talked about lifestyle management, of course, like diet and exercise. And at the end, he was just like so happy and so grateful because he's like, you know, I, I'm, he was relatively young. He's like, you know, I'm going to live a long life. I want to be able to, you know, have kids and, you know, have grandkids and see those things. But I didn't know that something like this could prevent me from doing those things. Um, so he was really happy and really grateful. And he was like setting goals and all this stuff. And that made me really happy because I could tell that, you know, he was ready to make a change and the fact that he really understood. And I think that's one of the reasons why I do love pharmacy, because we are that bridge that can really take the time with the patients to counsel them on their medications, review their list, make sure nothing's interacting and give them the confidence that they need to manage their disease states on their own. Um, So that was something that really kind of had an impact on me, because I think sometimes, you know, as you know, educated healthcare professionals, we can think that people already know what they're taking and about their disease state, but sometimes patients don't. Um, so it's definitely like an eye opener. And I think that that was one of the ones that stood out to me. 